Greetings. This is Astrologer Pam Young Hans, and here is my forecast for the week of August 14th to 20th, 2023. Our second of three lunations this month is a dramatic new moon that occurs this Wednesday, August 16th. The sun and moon will align at 2.37 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time on that day, when the two lights are at 23 degrees, 27 minutes of Leo. This new moon and the new lunar cycle that begins on Wednesday are likely to bring surprising twists and turns, and many sudden changes that test our adaptability. The excitement is due to a tight square between the new moon and radical Uranus, at the same time that the sideways spinning planet is strongly activated by a trine to energizing Mars, also exact on Wednesday. Retrograde Venus is also strongly involved in the new moon, which occurs within five degrees of the planet. With the goddess of love and beauty square both changeable Uranus and the great planet Jupiter, there may be either major breakthroughs or breakdowns in the Venus-ruled areas of relationships, values, the arts, and financial matters. Offering assistance as we work with these variable energies is wounded healer Chiron, which is trying Venus and the new moon. The centaur's presence indicates that improvements are possible in the areas ruled by Venus if we take the time to get clarity on what we truly want and value. However, Chiron is also in conjunct both Mercury and Mars in perfectionist Virgo. These aspects mean that impatience, blame, or lack of self-worth could distract us from getting to the heart of the questions we are asking ourselves. Here are this week's most important planetary aspects with my brief interpretations. On Monday, Venus is trying Chiron, but Saturn is semi-square Chiron. Repairing what is broken is a strong priority today, but we may be feeling inner resistance, especially if it seems that we have always been the one to step up to the plate and make things right. On Tuesday, the sun is exactly square Uranus. Restlessness and a nervous energy are very strong with this aspect. We are already feeling the effects of tomorrow's dynamic new moon. This could be a good day to take some time alone to get in touch with what is at the heart of our impatience. How can we better honor the new person we are becoming? Are new creative impulses calling us forward? Are small adjustments enough, or is a major change needed? On Wednesday, the new moon perfects at 2.37 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time. Wednesday is the day that Mars is exactly trying Uranus. We feel energized and willing to take inspired risks, to step into unknown territory. This is a very enterprising influence, assisting us in taking the lead. It supports activities that some might judge as strange or selfish. However, Mercury is Quincunx Chiron on Wednesday. We might second-guess ourselves with this aspect, or be overly critical of our ideas or our ability to take the initiative. This is an opportunity to spend some quality self-care time since the inner child aspect of our being may be feeling insecure with all the changes occurring. There are no major aspects exact on Thursday. On Friday, the sun is trying Eris. The inner warrior is empowered with this aspect. The need for self-expression is strong. There are no major aspects exact on Saturday. On Sunday, the sun is quincunx Neptune. There may be a sense of discomfort or disillusionment today if our expectations have not been met in a creative endeavor. We may fear that we have been too idealistic or acted before we were really clear on our vision. This aspect indicates a need to ground our dreams in reality, based in a clearer understanding of our own capabilities. If your birthday is this week, relationships, finances, and values are central themes for you this year. There is an opportunity to get in touch with what you truly want and need to feel fulfilled in your life. Along the way, you may surprise others as well as yourself with the choices you make. A part of the process this year will be allowing yourself to experiment with a variety of creative outlets. Both literally and figuratively, it may be best to date a lot of people but not necessarily get married. It is important that you feel more clear on the new you that is being birthed now 
before making long-term commitments, since your self-concept is undergoing continuing changes. This is astrologer Pam Younghans wishing you an inspired week. Thank you for being with me on this journey. We hope that you have enjoyed this article. For over 30 years, we at Inner Self have sought to encourage new attitudes and new possibilities. For more inspiration, visit us at InnerSelf.com. Thank you. Visit the Inner Self Market for new attitudes and new possibilities. You'll find inspiring books, wonderful music CDs, audiobooks, card decks, candles, jewelry, gifts, all kinds of wonderful things. Visit us at market.innerself.com.